Seriously, Rob? Yet another Penny Hunt and album fill? Yes. Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure, and that's right, we're doing Penny Hunt and Album Fill episode number eight. I couldn't contain myself because I recently got a California penny box. Maybe we'll score some S minted wheat scents, maybe some S minted beautiful copper scents. You never know. Now, if you are not caught up on this Penny Hunt and Album Fill series, I have seven videos already posted, and I'll have a convenient playlist linked down below and up here. That way, you can get caught up before you see the progress we've made on this book through seven boxes. Now, for those already caught up, you'll recollect that we have filled 123 now of the 134 spots in this Penny album. We have a majority of the modern stuff, a lot of the nicer copper BU scents, and we're working on the wheat scents as well. We've got a long ways to go, still 111 more spots to fill up, and hopefully we get some we need from this box. Now, like I said earlier, it's from California, so I'm really looking forward to finding any of the S mints that I need in the 70s, as well as better examples of some wheat scents and maybe even some S minted wheat scents because we don't have that many in the album yet. On top of that, we've been struggling in the 30s. We've got a lot of stuff from the 40s on, of course, and we have a handful of stuff from the 20s and back, but we could use some 30s in this box, but we'll take whatever we can get. Now that you're all caught up, you'll also remember that I have a jar here or two beer that has some coins that I could use in the album, but we're holding out for better examples. I did use some of those in the years that they go in only because they were still nice enough, probably a low mint state brown. Hopefully I can get better upgraded examples in the next couple of boxes so I can remove those and not have to touch them again. Now I do have to do a box opening because I did tape this up really well. I'm assuming he must have cracked it open to ensure that it was circulated since. So we'll have to make sure of that. But let me go ahead and cut this tape around here and I'll bring you back in for a top side ender reveal. All right, we have got the top of the tape open. Let's go ahead and take a peek inside and see if we have any magical enders. Uh oh, we have some penny rolls that have fallen probably in transit and at first glance i don't see any obvious enders and i will get these organized make sure we have all 50 rolls i see some older copper scents so i'm pretty excited about that but i don't see any wheat scents right at the top let me go ahead and organize this make sure we have 50 rolls and i'll bring you back well i got them situated and sure enough there are 50 rolls to hunt we're going to kick it off with roll number one and i'll bring you guys in if and when i find something in this box as a reminder, because I get asked, if you are looking for one of my coin roll hunting mats, I'm using my Penny Coin Hunts mat this hunt. I always have a link to them down below, and I'll even put a link to this mat above here. All right. Hopefully, I see you sooner rather than later. Roll number three, our first wheat scent found. Which one is it? And this one's going to be a 1952 Denver, which I believe we have, but... We're on the board. Roll number nine, we're gonna have our second wheat scent and I just dumped out the roll and I noticed the second one, discolored as it is, is a wheat scent. Hopefully that means it's old. And it's gonna be old. I think I saw an 18 and I think that's an 18 Denver. Man, I don't know. Let me see if I can wipe that away if that's an S or a D. I'm going to say 18D, but let me just double check it, and I'll let you know what I find out. All right, I've got it under the camera. I looped it, and it's definitely a Denver. I know on the screen it might play tricks on you. You might think you see the top of the S up here. It's just damage. That's a 1918 Denver. I'm 99.9% .9 sure, so we're going to call it a 1918D. Obviously, if I can get a confirmed example, I'll replace it. But 1918 Denver for the album, unless you guys convince me otherwise, I see a Denver. It's a good early find, our second find of the box. We've already got a teens. Same roll, and just a few coins later, we actually have a third wheat scent. Second of the roll, 1956 Philadelphia. Roll number 14, wheat scent number four. 1944s 
And uh, that is confirmed, and we might need that as well. So the box is definitely giving us some sense that we can use. Roll 17, weed scent number five. 58 Denver. Roll 18, box is staying hot. Weed scent number six. I already saw it. It's a 1955 Denver, which we have, but half a dozen wheats through 18 rolls. Not a bad start. Roll number 19 is going to give us wheat scent number seven, peeking out behind the one in front. Wheat scent seven, 53D. Roll 21 is going to give us a wheat scent that we find almost in every box. It's number eight, and it's a 46 Philadelphia. While I have you here, I flattened them out, and I think I spy a Canadian back here, so we'll grab that one. The Canadian scent is a 1983. Roll 24, wheat scent number nine. Already saw it, 1956 Denver, but we'll take it. Same roll, double digit wheat cents after 24 rolls, 1955 Denver again. Roll 25, Canadian number two, just a more modern 2004 in bright red condition with a stain. Roll 26, wheat cent number 11, 1950 Philadelphia. Roll 27, Canadian number three, and that's a 1975. And while I have you here, looks like we have a pretty nice 1971S back there. Maybe able to use it for the album, but we have a beautiful 71S already, although that is a nice one. Put it for the side, take a look at it later. Roll 29, and we might have ourselves a blazer. Take a look at the reverse of that wheat scent showing. That's gonna be number 12 for the hunt too. Hopefully it's not in the 50s, but likely it is and likely it'll still upgrade. And you know what? I'll take a 56D. Front's not as nice, but it's definitely a beautiful coin. Let's just see if there's any shadow D or any. We do have something going on down below. Let me take a second and take a look at that to see if that's a shadow D. I don't think it is, but it's definitely odd right there. Let me get back to you. All right, we've taken a long look at it. I know it looks like something's going on here and over here. It's just a little bit of damage. The shadow D would be a normal size shadowing of a D down here, and that's just a fragment of something. Either way, it gave us pause. It was fun to look at. 1956D, not as great shape as I thought, but still a dandy. We'll take it. Definitely will upgrade in the album. Just grabbed roll 33 out of the box, flipped it around, and notice we have a nice 1972S, I believe, Ender. And we need a 72S, so let's take a look at it. That 72S Ender is definitely a beauty, and we definitely need it for the album. Roll number 35 is going to be another foreign, but not a Canadian this time. I'm not exactly familiar with the obverse. Well, I guess the reverse it would be. And this is a... Oh, it's 50 ore. So this is going to be some Norway currency. 1998, 50 ore. Can't get mad at that. Norway, 50 ore coin in my box. Same roll, and we've got a misaligned die. I already looked at it. I picked it up, saw it was a 1968D. Looks like it's about 5 or 10% off, but it's not a off-center strike because the reverse is normal. It's just a misaligned die, and we will take that all day. 1968D. It's been circulated for a while. Guess no one wanted it, but now it's got a home in my collection. Hunting roll 39, and it's been a while since we had a weed scent, and we still don't. But look at this. Got a 1968 Denver Minted Dime. It's clad, and it's beat up. But we made nine cents, and we'll take it. Roll number 43, and we are back on the weed scents. Number 13 of the box. It's a 41, so we'll check it for any of the three DDOs. You would find it at the date on the 1-9, which I don't see. On Liberty, which I don't see. And or on the motto, especially in trust, which 
I don't see. We find a lot of these, found another one. Not one we needed, but still fun to scope. Roll 45, weed scent number 14. A 46S, I believe. And even though we like S mint marks, I think we might have that. Either way though, I'll take another S minute weed scent all day. Roll 47, weed scent number 15, one we've already found in this hunt, another 1955. Denver. Well, we finished that penny box from California. It was a lot of fun going through a California State penny box for stuff for the album. That being said, we got 15 wheat cents. Not a lot of them that we're probably going to be able to use, but we know we got some, and the oldest was this 1918 Denver, which I believe we don't have. On top of that, we did pull out some 80s and 90 cents just because I want to double check them. They're nice enough that maybe they'll upgrade. A couple of questionable copper scents that I may not use, but we'll see. I've got a lot of nice copper here, which is what I was hoping for in this box with Denver and San Fran mints. So we'll see if I can use some of those. We did get four 69S's, none of the DDO's, one pretty nice. We got three 1959's that I always pull out just because I like to, three Canadians and a Norway coin, 50 or. On top of that, we did get that dime, which made us nine cents. I have a potential clipped planchet on this 65 cent, but the damage, I can't quite tell for sure if it is. So I just pull it aside as an oddity. And then of course we have that misaligned die, 1968D, probably five to 10%. Nothing extremely valuable, but still cool. And I always hold on to them when I find them. Now that we've done the work as far as hunting, it's time to get some fruits of our labor and see what we end up with. We're sitting at 123 spots filled. I'm hoping we get north of 130 after I plug these in. Let's see what we get from this hunt. All right, progress has been made for sure. Now I didn't keep track of the upgrades, but I was able to upgrade quite a few, especially in the 80s and 90s minted in Denver. That being said, we did add three wheat scents, a 46S, a 44S, and an 18D. We added a total of 14 spots to the album for 137 out of 234 spots filled, only 97 more to go. That means we added 11 non-wheat cents to the book. Can't get mad at that. I also went ahead and stuck in that possible clip planchet and that misaligned die strike as oddities. These will probably be changed out down the road, but for now, I wanted to have those spots filled with something. And since we found them during this series, why not plug them in? Either way, the modern scents are looking really nice, and a lot of the 70s coppers are looking really nice. We do have some we'd like to replace. The wheat scents are coming along beautifully. A lot of the 50s are done. We still need some of the S mints, of course, so I could definitely use some more West Coast boxes, and we're still struggling on those 30s, and not doing too bad for the older stuff, considering only eight boxes have been hunted. Either way, I'm enjoying this Penny Hunt and Album Phil. We continue to make progress. That's what I like. And even in future episodes, if we don't fill spots, hopefully we can upgrade some of the weeds. If you're enjoying this Penny Hunt and Phil series, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching. Don't be sad, Copper Cup. I know a lot of the comments lately have been that I need to replace you, but I'm gonna keep you in my collection forever.